So you're looking for free ways to drive your business forward. This is one of the top things you can do that's free in order to drive your business forward and have increased sales in the years to come. Hey, it's Mark here with the Hiller Group, brokered by eXp Realty. My team and I have you covered here along the beautiful Florida Panhandle from Pensacola all the way through Panama City, where we've been fortunate enough to sell over 1,200 homes in the past 10 years. So what's that one thing, that one free thing that could get you additional business? Reviews. You need to take the time and energy and put that into a proper review strategy to help drive your business forward. This is something that I found early on in my career I knew was gonna be able to be everlasting and would keep continuing to grow throughout my real estate career. So I put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears early on into getting those reviews. And what do I mean? You have to have a strategy, right? You need to make sure that you are asking for that review at multiple times throughout the transaction. Because guess what? Your client's busy. They may not always get to it right away, so you may have to ask multiple times. But asking for it when they're the happiest is probably gonna get you the best result. Like right after going under contract, right after inspection period, maybe right after the appraisal, and then right before closing. Well, Mark, why right before? Why not right after? Why? Because your clients are busy, and so will you be. You'll probably forget. That period between appraisal and closing is what we call the hurry up and wait period. Usually they're kind of finishing up packing and everything else, so they've got a little bit more free time than they do right after you close. So that is a great time to ask for that review. It's also a great time to ask for referrals as well. One of the things that we did early on was we had a strategy where we wanted to get all of our reviews in one place. Kind of that shotgun approach. This is a shotgun, so. Trying to shoot, like put it on 50 different places is very hard to begin with. So we focused mainly on Zillow when we started our career because I knew Zillow was where the home shoppers were and where the eyeballs were, okay? So now we have over 225 reviews on Zillow, more than any other agent in our market, but it was because we had a strategy. I also had a form that I would have my client sign at the time of going under contract that was an agreement that they agreed to give me a review prior to closing. This is something I rarely had to pull back out and show them and remind them, but it was something I had so they realized that, hey, giving Mark a review is, is pretty important to him. It helps drive his business. And I, I put a little story there. I also put a couple examples of reviews because you may have somebody who's not really creative. They're afraid to write the review and have it posted on the internet. So if you give them a couple of examples of previous reviews you have, it'll make that process easier for them. One of the other things we did was we had video testimonials. So we got these from multiple clients over the years, and that's the, just them jumping on video to say how their experience was working with you and your team. One of the other things that we really focused on was follow-up. Follow-up with these reviews. And what do I mean by that? I had a email reminder to go back out every week and would ask them for the review. If we happen to not get one during the transaction and it was after closing, I waited 20 days till after closing and then all of a sudden my email reminders would go out every seven days after the 20 day waiting period to make sure that we were still re going and looking for and asking for that review if we hadn't got one during the transaction. And remember, people are busy. I think the longest one I had was six months after closing. I had a client come back and fill out a review and he said, Mark, I'm so sorry. I apologize for taking so long. I've just been super busy. So I wasn't annoying him. He felt bad. He felt bad that he didn't take the time to fill out that review, but just reminding him is not annoying. It's reminding him to keep up his end of the bargain because he had signed that agreement with me, right? The next thing to think about with these reviews is you need to make sure that you are putting them on your website. You need to make sure you're using them in your marketing. You know, we've done postcard campaigns where we've just sent out 
copies of all the reviews we've had one by one so that way people weren't overwhelmed they could focus on one review at a time we sent that out as proof proof that other people had worked with us and that we were worthy of being your realtor okay one of the other things we we also focused on was google reviews this was after a time when we realized that Google was really building their Google My Business pages to have some SEO involved with it. And the more reviews you had on there, the more reviewable you were and the more business you would potentially get. So with, we then shifted our focus from Zillow over to Google. And now we have over 400 Google reviews, right? 400, but it didn't happen overnight. We went back and asked all the people we had worked with over the years, you know, we have over 1,200 clients we've worked with in the past 10 years. We went back and strategically asked all of them to go ahead and fill out a Google review for us. Now, it's kind of hard going back eight years later and asking somebody to give you a review, but we did it. We weren't afraid. We didn't put up any like fight for it. We knew some people were going to do it and some weren't, but we just went after it. One of the other things to think about with these reviews is a platform called Yelp. We have not put a lot of time and energy into Yelp, but that is another place you can get reviews from your clients. Having a strategy around your reviews is going to be important if you really want to build those reviews and stack them over time. I personally believe the Google reviews are going to be even more important in the years to come as Google has now started to place people with better and higher reviews, higher up on their map search, better for SEO. All around, I think Google is really gonna wanna promote the people who have the highest reviews over the ones that just do not. So. Reviews are important in driving your business forward into the next level. And I also don't want to forget to tell you how many times we have people come back, say, hey, I saw your reviews online. I saw your reviews online. How many times people have reached out directly? We have gotten direct business from our Google reviews, from people just picking up the phone, hitting the button and calling us because they started to review us online and realized we were the company that they wanted to work with. So it will drive your business forward if you take the time and energy and put it forward into driving your reviews. Hope this was helpful. Hit the like and subscribe button. Catch us on the next one.